Hey guys, welcome to. God damn it, I can't even do an intro now. Welcome to Intro Gaffers 2014 with your host Shade. You, you just threw me off my groove, man. I'm sorry, but you threw off the Emperor's groove. The Emperor's new groove? I love uh, how they just hang off that bridge right there. Indeed. Also, Peach has gone on vacation, so we have Ash with us this time. Oh my god. It doesn't mean I'm not I'm not replacing anyone at all. No, no, <laughs> she's not. Uh, Ash, I just decided to join us for this one. Yep. You know what this means, Shade? What? The princess is in another castle. Mm. I'm always really paranoid I'm gonna fall into the lava on that bridge. Mm. All that for a joy pendant. Fucking yay. Yes, you'll be finding yourself doing that a lot. <laughs> so anyway, in this video, we should be going off to fight and finish the boss of this dungeon. Oh god, don't... oh, okay. When I did that, it, it moved and I fell. A little bit of delay there, it just, you know, nothing was going on. Yeah. Yeah, just the delay for the jingle to happen and be like, oh, oh wait, what? Oh, I'm supposed to play here? Okay. A bit of a delay. <clears throat> but don't worry, I've run this dungeon enough times to know how the everything works. Okay, yeah. so, um, where does the dungeon reach its best for price marketing? <laughs> you know, I want to say right on the edge of the volcano, but not too far. Do you, th you think we get enough value for real estate? Uh, we might, we might. I mean, the, the volcano's close to downtown, not too far from the beach. It, it's prime <laughs> location. There's nothing to do downtown. Do you see that one bat just to get a heart that you already had? What, I'm... did the bat mock you or something? <laughs> it was like, hey, your mother smells. Oh, I... hell no! I just... <laughs> uh... That bat did nothing to me, I just hate those bats. Because every time I do this, I know those two bats are going to come after me because they're constantly swinging towards them. I just got remembered of this ship parody I saw a while ago when Ash mentioned like getting a heart or oh, that trouble. Like, I saw this parody once of like Bink going to a shop to get a heart. And because he can't speak, he's yelling gibberish at the shopkeeper who's like... who can't understand him. Nice. I think I vaguely remember that. I'm just gonna go and murder someone and steal their living heart. Yum he yum. Actually does, he actually does kill the shopkeeper and take his heart as well. <laughs> That's the funny thing. Why not? Let's just put uh, our bare hand in his chest. These guys are these guys are unpleasant. They just look creepy. Yes, they do. I They're think creepy. it's more the way they move. I hate the way you move. Uh, no, here's the thing with these guys. Oh, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here's the thing with you guys, you knock them into the lava when they're like that, they will immediately spring back up. Hey like guys, that, guy just that did. looks like the anti-helix. That, that looks more like the, like, you know the briefcase and Pulp Fiction does that have this sort of effect? There's just actually nothing in it, it just glows when you open up. Yep. You know, for the longest I never thought I could kill those lava centipedes. And now lava bats, great. Mm. A gold key. Uh, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, if you start bugging me about me saying bats instead of keys, uh, here's a pro tip for you. I don't care. It lives in a cave. It has wings. It's annoying as fuck, and it makes a high speed, high, high frequency sound when it screams. It's a fucking bat. Okay then, uh, Shade, what do you call Connor then? I call Connor a fucker. Oh, I was mm. hoping he was going to say it's why it rhymes. Are you, are you going to, wait, what are we going to call then fuckers then? We just call them fuckers, I don't know, pricks? Let's go with pricks. Okay. Anyway, as you can probably see, there's not much to say left to say about this dungeon. It's lava and 
backtracking now. To quote Super Mario 64, you're in lethal lava land. I wish. Actually, I don't wish. I hate fucking lethal lava land. What's that? Yeah, I was never a fan of lethal lava land myself. I just hate lava because I can guarantee you, if there is lava in a place, I will fall into it. If there was lava anywhere, you'd die not even going anywhere near the lava. Yep. Like yeah, that, that. This, is, this is against every single scientific fact. Lava does not work this way. You'd mm -hmm. die from the exhaust. And but I, Link will just shoot up into the sky. And I apparently I threw that jar so far, it clipped through the wall. <laughs> Oh dear. Big being hero of time has uh, its advantages, you know. And now oh it's God. just not far enough. Maybe it was no better, maybe shade. If it was better not to throw it when the lava's still going, because I think the lava kind of interrupts it. I think it doesn't do anything, but... The lava doesn't interrupt it. If you throw it while the lava's going, the most that happens is that it'll land on top of the lava and just blow up with it. <clears throat> Don't you dare! Dear God. Why are you saying don't you dare? If this is in post for commentary, you know what's gonna happen. I haven't least... watched this footage in a long fucking time. What the hell? <laughs> okay. I always, thought, I always thought that, um, the, uh, why can't I even think of the name of it now? This, what, whatever you make when you throw. Wow. <laughs> what if you make when you throw the water on the lava? Um, I always thought they looked like um, those flowers, like vile, vile plume. Vile plume's head. Uh, oh, my god, you killed me with water. <laughs> you, will you will take the ultimate wrath of sparkling water. Oh god, I hate sparkling! And there goes the ruby. You got oh, a pocket. Just one ruby. But it was shiny! And green. Like him. Shade like shiny. How did I know? How did I know? How did I know? Damn, I can't remove I can't remove him from the group. I, co I couldn't even kick him. I saw him and I was like, I'll kick him. No, I can't. I'm not opposing him. I wasn't even here for the night he said make a baby, so I have no idea what that joke he fucking means. I wasn't even there for the past week, so I'm in the dark about a lot of weeks. It, it was pretty much just Pete's laughing at the way he said make a baby. Yeah, because Connor has a way of making anyone laugh by the set way he said things. Yeah. When are we going to get some bus back? What the hell? Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ, uh... I'm sorry, just... You just hit me! <laughs> um, you guys won't hear that, but I just said what the hell to the fact that Sonic and the Black Knight music came out of nowhere. Oh, God. Um, if, if you're wondering what it is, I am going to be watching the Hellfire Com sonic a later on today, and the music just started up on the live stream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, actually, I should probably watch that as well. Hey, wait. There's a particular reason we've come back near the entrance, and that's to go over here. Hello, Choo Choo. How are you? Oh, yeah. Hello, Choo Choo. How are you? Hello, Choo Choo. How do you do? Hello, Choo Choo. Hello, Choo Choo. You're a fucking If I remember, hey. I know what's in that chest. So do I. But you like to take a guess at what's in that chest? Money! Jo Joy payments. chart? Joy pendant. We got money, I'm... joy pendant, a chart, and the answer I... is. I don't know. It is a chart. Oh, my God. oh that was my next. That was my next guess. <laughs> I don't think a joy pendant would be nah. Knowing this game, it probably would be. <laughs> aren't, your, aren't joy pendant practically useless in this version? Um, you still, you still need to get the cabana deed, so they have eight use. 
But really, after you get the Cabana Deed, you can just stop collecting Joy Pendants. I sure did love that private house and the scary looking door. I don't know. It kept asking me for 599 US dollars. Damn. And this is after he switched to Geico. Hey, Lava Bat, how are you? Sup, Bat. So, we're gonna get some boss butt now? We are gonna get some boss. You know, for the longest, I did not think you can kill those centipedes without the. Yeah, you said that earlier. Yeah. Oh, can I just mention something? Yes. I recently played Wind Waker, and one of them glitched on the stairs, and it just kept spinning around in a ball shape. Oh, yeah, I remember you showing us that. <laughs> and I don't know why. There's a yellow ruby. Yellow rupees are quite rare to see, I think. And a knight's crest. I don't know why the <laughs> fuck you get a knight's crest this early on, but hey, you need it later. I believe they're quite common in Twilight Princess. What, knight's crest? No, yellow rupees reset, they were rare in this thing. I think this is the, literally the only time I've ever seen a yellow ruby. Sorry. Oh, she's crying. Oh god. Oh god, oh, god. I'm oh, god. Just I'm just I don't think <laughs> I don't think she's crying, I think she's actually holding up a wand. She's violent. <laughs> she's like she just starts shaking so rapidly, just like, I'll kill you. I'll kill all of you. I just I just love that one Wind Waker comment where it's showing like Wind Waker Link getting a fairy and he just Bow. He just opens the bottle and then bows to the fairy, and the fairy, fairy just kind of flies in itself. Oh god. Anyway, that aside, it is time for the first official boss of Wind Waker. No That's pun cool. intended, please. The Liz, uh, tail looks absolutely dashing. Well, that's one horrible case of diarrhea. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh. I present to you, Goma. Creepy. AKA one of the easiest fucking bosses. Try watching Game Grumps play it. I have mentioned it about two times already. Well, no, it took them 10 minutes to figure out it was the lose tail you had to get this guy get out to. Okay, I know they're not idiots. One of them has had to have played Wind Waker before. Maybe they're just playing it all from last. I don't know, there's. <laughs> There's a point between playing it for last and just being too far. And I got hit by lava there. That never really happens. And then I got yeah. hit there. Now that very rarely happens. Oh, really? It's the recording curse, man. Oh. I've literally done this boss without ever taking a hit, and it just barely clipped me. Ah! Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, again, I've done this boss without taking a single hit. But the, this time the game was just like, nope, fuck you. So let's yeah. play it, uh... Why does, why does Fuller have to keep his tail down there, honestly? Uh. No idea. If it's, bothering him so much, if it's bothering him so much, I can just go, oh, that's pulling at me, may as well get that out of that tiny little hole. Um, the magic number. Please. And now the real boss fight begins. I'll Have be I... blunt, but that does not look like Goma. Did we ever get to see this guy's name? No. No. And I think no. only Goma is a female. Mm -hmm. For some reason it's she just... was different looking than this. And yeah, that's the boss fight. Yeah, because this incarnation of Goma seems more scorpion-like than the other's incarnations. I don't know, I'd say more centipede-like, considering how long her body actually is. Yeah, but she's got pincers like a scorpion. If anything, if anything, I think she's a... I think she's a giant version of one of those uh, centipede lava things. Lava centipede things. Just with arms. Well, yeah. Easiest boss fight ever. If I had to rate it, mm -hmm. eh, one out of five. What about 
well, I shouldn't really say, actually. We can't say any spoilers, can we? If you listen carefully to this um, tornado, you can actually hear, like, part of the tune from of Final Hours from Majora's Mask. Um, Ashley, I'll be honest, what's the point in keeping spoilers in this thing? Who, if anyone's actually playing One Waker HD for the first time, that's kind of sad. Well then, let, let's just say, keeping spoilers on the edge, um, in the future, in, in the later in the game, there's a boss that you pick up and throw. Don't you think that one's more easier than this one? <laughs> At least? At least that one provides a decent challenge, but this one is literally just, you can just land in one place and barely have to worry about it. Oh, I'd say the most... Yeah. I'm not pissed off anymore! Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh, hero. Great hero. Yay. Yay. And Yay. best music in the game. As we've said before. Don't you have something you want to say? Do you ever Fuck fucking smile? Do you ever fucking smile, ch child? Honestly. He smiled when he looked up at Baloo Thank that minute ago. Thanks. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. <laughs> Aww. Uh, get your anime hair out of this anime ass game. You don't take time to that kind of here. Take my ball. <laughs> Take my ball. I've only got the one. My shiny ball. Uh, my shiny heavy ball. You got of light. Ginter. Yay! Mm. My okay, balls. I think I can translate what he's gonna say here. <clears throat> so can Any I. Time now. Thank you, hero. Use the power of the wind god, hero. Which we've already gotten. You see, it is at this point that they actually tell you that you're supposed to go behind the island and talk to the wind god to get that wind's requiem. Of course, I've already did this, so this part can fuck off. <laughs> Again, I don't know why people wait till after the dungeon. It literally wastes no time. If this you're playing a new game for class, that part will actually be translated, so that's how we knew what it, he was saying. Yes. Again, I would have played this in New Game Plus version, but you guys are like, no, we have to play vanilla. When did we say that? <laughs> well, specifically, Jonic. I didn't no. say anything. All I'm Be saying nice was. What say. I gave you the suggestion, and you said we should probably play the normal version. Of course, selfie. You will find this on Meverse later. Yay. As soon as I find a good spot. <laughs> good spot. Come on. That one. Yeah. The trees. Uh, that's good. Oh, he's more picky than me. I can't help it. I want it to be a nice picture. Yeah, put the boat in there. Yeah. And next time, guys, we shall go off and do more adventure. <laughs>